Abuja city centre is renowned for its good road network as motorists travel with ease within the city. The story is, however, very different for residents in some of the satellite towns who must find their ways to the city centre to work every weekday. A higher population of Abuja residents live in the satellite towns and this explains the heavy traffic leading into the city centre every morning and exiting the city every evening, especially on working days. The car is much. It's not as if the way it is before, you understand? And our own thinking is that people are no longer get job anymore again. Mostly people join transportation. You understand? Transportation is, a, is like man business now, that everybody come out and doing the transportation work now. So because of that, I think we have much cars in Abuja than before. They prepare roadside than inside park. So they find it very difficult. So what can we do? We don't have anything doing else than the driving. So we have to pick them in the road. Everywhere there we go. That's why that's what causes the, 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 the traffic, I think. The FRSC believes more can be done to address the traffic congestion in the nation's capital. Look at the rush hour in the morning, rush hour in the evening, and you discover that every other businesses, government businesses, private businesses, one-man businesses, they head from Kubwa to town, from Nyanyakaru to town, from the airport road to town, and then when work is over, everybody moves out. So if we do not find a way to spread business activity, maybe government considering moving some government offices to satellite towns, getting the satellite towns properly developed with every facilities, shopping malls, schools, whatever it is that you need that will be an attraction. And then link up the satellite towns with the city centre with light rails that will ensure that the attraction to drive your car does not arise. The Abuja light rail system is envisaged as a solution to the gridlock by the FCT administration. However, the project, which has commenced some form of operation, is still not addressing the situation because it has limited access into the city centre. At the moment, 42.5 kilometers rail line can only commute from the central business district to the Namdi Azikwe International Airport on a 28 kilometer stretch.